topic. So let's say you're talking to a parent and let's say you ask them some good questions, but some parents just go into outer space. They, they, they start talking about things that don't even have anything to do with their child. And, and the thing is, is like these parents like talking about their kids, uh, but they could, they could go off the rails pretty quickly in a conversation. And yeah. what do you do when someone's, they just end up start tar- they, they start talking about other things that don't even matter. How do you reel them back into the intent of the call? Yeah, it's a good good question. I think the way I do it, and the way I feel that it's worked really well, is you have to be clear at the beginning. So as as soon as you you start the conversation with the parent, you say to them, right. Miss Jones, this is going to be just a, a 15 minute call. Uh, it might be less, but all we're going to do is talk about your child uh, so I can get in a little bit of an insight into what they like. And then I'll take maybe two, two or three minutes to talk about what we offer. Right. So then you go. Sh- so at that point, the parent knows, OK, this this is what is expected of the conversation. And it's important that you you move from one thing to the another because like sometimes I know a lot it does come down to confidence as well you know because if you're if you're a confident person on those calls then the parent will smell that but what tends to happen is parents go into like into space when they know that you're not in control of the conversation Mm -hmm. because it gets to a point where it can become a bit awkward yeah so yeah. you have to make sure that you lead the conversation. And that's why I mentioned at the beginning, it's, it's all about being organized, having questions in front of you and moving through the question bit by bit so that you don't give that parent a chance to then talk about, you know, something that's not relevant to the conversation. Yeah. 